In this video, you'll learn about the different components of the Cutwork Docker. At the top of the Cutwork Docker, you can select the type of border. This type of border influences what design components are going to be displayed in the Docker. I'm going to select hole 3 because it contains all the different components in Cutwork. The Docker contains a visual of the type of Cutwork that is selected. Let's talk about each of the components of this Docker. The components are always listed in stitch out order. And for this type of hole, you're going to have a stabilizing run. This is used to reduce any distortion of the fabric prior to cutting or stitching. I can change the number of passes and I can change the distance that the stabilizing run is from the cut line. The cutting lines are the lines established to either cut with the Bernina Cutwork accessory or to cut with a pair of scissors. Then you can see the stabilizer is placed in this particular type of hole. The tack down run is a running stitch that is used to hold a fabric or stabilizer after the hole has been cut. Net fills are the stitches that will stitch on the stabilizer across the hole that has been cut in the fabric. You can see the net fill in these areas of the butterfly. And finally, the embroidery is what is used to cover the edge of the hole. You can choose satin, blanket, zigzag, or stem stitch. At the very bottom of the docker, you can combine the cuts of multiple cutwork objects. This allows you to set the software to combine the cut positions of the cutwork tool for a more efficient cutting design. There is also an uncombine that you can choose should you change your mind about combining the cuts.